I like the in the tractor view. I'm going like way too fast, but this is cool being inside. These tractors are going to be pretty dirty. I'm going to, I don't know, at some point, I wish they uh, here's the problem with having a central car wash. <laughs> by the time I get my equipment all the way over to the farm and clean, it'll be dirty again by the time I get back here. That's the only thing that I'm not real happy about. I wish you could build a car wash on this premises too, but maybe they'll do that later in the game. I doubt it, but it would be nice to be able to go, oh, look, you can build a car wash too. Because this tractor is already dirty, and the sprayer is already dirty, and I haven't even used it yet. So, I guess that's just the way it is. We're just going to let them get dirty, and that's how it goes. So I don't think you can wash your stuff anywhere else. So, um, All right, so last but not least, we have to get that trailer. We can actually probably just leave that there for now, because I don't really need it over here for anything. Um Which greenhouse did I put this stuff in? I think I put it down here. We'll start in this greenhouse since it's the last one on the line. Yeah, there's my trailer. Okay. Can this fit? Oh. All right, so let's go ahead and drop this off, and then we'll start working on... We'll take a real quick look and see what we need to do um, as far as seating goes. Look at how dirty that thing got just on the trip over. Dang it. Ah. Oh, well, what are you going to do? It's going to get dirty coming back from the other... From the, if you take it to the main farm and wash it, it's going to get dirty again by the time you get back. So what's the point? You might as well just leave it, right? This tractor will park in here. Try not to use that inside too much. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what we're dealing with as far as the seeds go. Um, and read what this says. This bubble says, and there's a bubble inside each one. The composition of plants and greenhouses. Here you can gather and change seedlings for manual planting. Purchased plants in the agricultural store can be used in each greenhouse. We can't do anything because we don't have anything. Here you can gather and change seedlings for manual planting. Seedlings, let's see, none. So let's go ahead and grab, where's the aggro store? Ah, we got to drive all the way back over there. But that's what we got to do, so here we go. Nope. Nope, this game has no teleport except for back to the main farm, so... You are stuck driving everywhere. So I'm going to take the Galadon. What? They have auto, they have a uh, cruise control. Yeah. Um, the Farm Sim on the phone app does that. Like the, f the phone version of the Farm Sim F uh, FS16 does that. Um, why is the doors not opening? There we go. Okay. Not much longer. Hours. Why? Okay, pass out. I'll, I'm almost done, Ryan. Ryan, now Ryan's making me go to bed, too, so hang on, folks. We're going to cut across the mountains like Lewis and Clark. See if we can do it. Lewis, Lewis Park. No, Lewis and Clark. You're making a funny. Making a farty. I mean, I we're so low on cash. I say we could buy it off the map thing, but I don't have any money. This tractor, <laughs> it's abused. These things are all abused already, and they haven't even been used yet. Free range tractors. Come on, baby, you can make it. <laughs> it's like all all-terrain tractor. 
Right. Oh no. Uh, I didn't realize we had to cross the Sierra Nevadas. <laughs> Bless you, Ryan. Holy cow! Uh, Alright, let's get some speed here so we can make it over this ridge. Oh no! Oh, dump! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Oh! Ah! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Using that torque to flip it back over. Oh my gosh. I'm a nut. There it is. Why, that was worth it. I wonder if you actually... Oh no! Mm, this is not looking good, Ryan. I'm screwed. Uh, I might be having a broken tractor in a minute. <laughs> Yeah, they do. it's like the Skyrim horses. <laughs> Not quite as fluid as the horse. Oh, oh, come on, Galadon. This tractor's gonna need some massive repairs. <laughs> oh, it's good. At, it's good at doing endos, though. I will say that. All right, let's see if we can get it across the river without drowning the motor. Oh, avoid water. Oh no! Come on, get out, Galadon! Oh, I probably damaged it, huh? Oh, look at the black smoke pouring out. That's not good. Alright, well, that wasn't good. We're going to have to take this back to the main farm and fix it up. Oh no, and it's only going 18 kilometers an hour. I think I blew something. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> oh no, now it's picking up speed. Not that I needed this tractor too much. That could, That little thing is what I needed, but... Uh, she's smoking pretty hard. Oh. Oh, no, I can't even make it over the grass anymore. Like, come on, baby. Well, that was my fault for taking it over the mountains. I probably did $20,000 worth of damage to the dang thing. We're going to have to wait to fix it up. I, like I said, I don't really need this tractor yet. Until the harvest comes, and then I'm, I can use the other tractor, but. Alright, so there's our other trailer. And. Okay, now we're up to full speed. I don't really we you don't want to know how much damage I did. I wish there was a way you could inspect the tractor without having to take it all the way back to your shop, but all right, so here we go. We're entering a farm shop. Seedlings. We'll do a hundred of each, right? We'll see. And um, what do we do for fertilizer? Fungicides, insects, lime, herbs. Uh. We get a thousand of that. I don't know how much we're going to need. Uh, maybe about two thousand. We're going to buy more. We're just going to run ourselves. No, we're not. Um, seedlings, we'll buy more. Buy 200 seedlings, 300 seedlings, and we'll come back if we need more. All right, so that's good. So we got those things. I think we really need to go. Hang on, we need to take this thing back to the main farm. I feel really bad about this. I just beat the crap out of this poor tractor, and my poor trailer. We're gonna take this trailer home too. Uh, where is it? This, poor, <laughs> this tractor. <laughs> it's I've killed it. Well, it looks good now. But it's still running like crap, so let's let's uh fix it up, boy. Hopefully it's under two thousand dollars. 
What do you think, Ryan? Do you think I killed it? We'll find out. Here's the big test. No, nothing there. Nope, nope. No. No. No, it's good. All right, gay. Hey, it's just, it's just not a great tractor. All right, so it is little. It's just little. He just needed some love. It's not a great tractor. It's the most amazing tractor. You're right, Ryan. That's a good point. It was like all over the map. So let's get back to our uh, agricultural center and plant some plants. And I got to go to bed. Ryan's getting mad at me now. He's ready to kill me. You ready to kill me, Ryan? Poor Rue, he's not feeling so good. Before you start to cry. Before you start to cry. All right, cry, cry. All right, I'll be back. Oh, and I see a latch on the back of this one, so you could probably latch up multiples of these trailers. So if you get, you know, to the point where you're huge, you could get a whole bunch of these and latch them together. And then you still, the small tractor probably still can pull them. All right, so I'll be back. I just thought I'd share that with you. Exciting news. I really wish there was somewhere covered to park this. This is silly that you can't, you have to just leave it outside. Like, okay, well, I guess we'll just park it right here outside in front of the building. Let it rain on, let it get rained on and stuff all year round. And get ruined. But it, whatever. I mean, that's how it goes. This is, this is probably, no, that's not going to fit down those aisles either. So we'll just, we'll just park this right here. Uh, and we're going to, we going to, we're going to hop into the, we'll park the Galadon in here. Shut it off. We don't want to get too much exhaust fumes in our lovely greenhouse where we're growing things. Poor Ryan. Alright. Seedlings. So press enter. We're going to choose cucumber. Seedlings selected for planting cucumbers. Ah. <coughs> the current life day is zero. Number of fruits not known yet. So these one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I might have overbought. Ten, <laughs> eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Whoa, 21, 22. Okay, so we'll be able to fill all these greenhouses up. And I'm probably going to run out of fertilizer really fast. So we might have to just do this without fertilizer, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Because uh, I'm out of money. We can fertilize them later. I think you can fertilize as you go. And it seems like fertilizer is the only option that they give you. So it seems like not a big deal, right? I don't know why you just leave one section open, but. So now if we go back here and look at our seedlings, we should be down about a 200, right? No, I'm sorry, 240 pieces. So uh, we've used 60 pieces there. So it looks like we'll be able to fill up all of our greenhouse space, which is good. Like, I mean, we want to we wanna fill it all up. And if I need to run back to the store to get more, I will. But it seems like I bought more than enough. I didn't realize it was going to go that fast. So I didn't realize you were going to have like this much room for these plants. That's really cool. Okay. So let's go ahead and fill this up. We'll come down here and check them out. What we'll do is we'll let them grow for a month. And then I'll start fertilizing. We're going to plant all these plants today. We also need to get our crop started between today and tomorrow. 
Uh, the third, I think, is the cutoff date for crops. So it's the first. But we should have still time. It's only it's only one o'clock in the afternoon. So we're going to have to hire workers to do stuff, though. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Well, I don't even have a cultivator or plow anymore, so we're going to have to hire them to do, yeah, the fields. <laughs> we could do fertilizing in a couple. In a, well, the fertilizer, eh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. The good news is once I'm done, I'll know exactly how many I can put in a greenhouse because I don't. they don't tell you really, like, how, how many can the greenhouse fit? So let's go ahead. We're almost done. So this is awesome. <laughs> the farm sim had greenhouses, but never to this scale, man. I wish you, I wish you could actually be involved in the farming portion of the... I would imagine just like the plants that you can fertilize as they grow. So. I wonder why each of these rows is a little bit different. Like you can see the ones have round, around that round stuff underneath them and then the other ones don't. I wonder if that's... I wonder what the big difference is. Alright, we're almost done. So we have completely filled our greenhouse with plants. And it's the seeds are inexpensive, you know, the seedlings. Let's take a make, make sure we have everything filled. Yep. Cool. All right, so let's see how many we used. There's 30 pieces left. So that's oddly, it holds 200 and... Wait. <laughs> wait for it. 270. So a greenhouse can hold 270 plants. Strange. Okay. Well, let's go fill the other one up. So we'll go in here. And... Enter. Let's do the tomato seedlings, 300 pieces. So we know for a fact that we're going to hold... We'll have 30 left over of tomatoes. <laughs> it's really cool. It's a, a very neat system. I'm glad they did this. It makes my life fun. Because it gives you another whole thing to do. Because, like, you know, otherwise you're just planting, harvesting, planting, harvesting. I mean, it's the same idea, but it's all different equipment. I don't know if I'll be able to pull the fertilizer with that little guy, though. We'll see what happens. I think maybe by going over the mountains with the equipment made it a little bit dirty. Alright, so we're almost done. Not 1% of the warehouse. We've done two rows. So we're going to buy more seed. We're going to fill this place up. I've got enough money to fill the whole facility up. And so we're going to go do that. Um, let's see here. So we got two greenhouses filled. And I've got three more to fill. I wonder if you could put... It's saying tomato like wherever I look. So I think you ha once you pick a seed, you have to go with it. The nice thing is the animals will earn us money as the year goes by. So we will be able to recoup. I 
I think we'll skip doing a second crop this year, though, um, because I'm, I'm so low on money, I can, and I won't be able to plant until uh, it's too late. You know what I'm saying? Like, the plants... But we'll do this for the rest of the year. This will be our second crop, and then next year we'll be able to do it. But I just ran myself so low on the money. I probably didn't need to buy that second tractor, but maybe we maybe we did. We'll see. I don't know. I think we're pulling these to the store. We will, but... Um, this is really cool. And also when we do orchards, I'm going to buy a, a plot near here to start an orchard. Um, so the f fields around here we're going to do it and we'll sub that tractor out to that area also, you know. <laughs> Alright, so <laughs> it's a little tedious. <laughs> But cool still, none the, cool nonetheless. I like the way they put the strings in so that plants can grow up the strings. Like vines. And so with this last layer, I'm going to go to bed because I it's now 2.30. And I have to actually do some work tomorrow. So life, I have to do some real life along with some moving, along with a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm going to have a very busy day tomorrow. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and we saw how this works. Now we're going to fertilize it as it goes, and so we're going to be focusing on the fruit farm now uh, over the next section of series here for year five. Um, so uh, we're done with the harvest. I will, uh, I still need to, in the next, once we're done planting all this stuff, I need to bale and gather all the straw from my fields so that the cows could eat. And then, you know, we'll go from there. Uh, maybe, I just like I said, I don't think I'm going to have enough money. We'll, we'll see. But I, I want to fill these up first. And then uh, I can fertilize them l and later in the month. But So we filled two greenhouses up. And I have one, two, three more greenhouses to go. So I need, I don't know, I can't, I'm not smart enough to do that math. But we'll, let's see. Now if I buy them through the store like this, am I silly? How much more do the seedlings cost? They're significantly more. They went from $9 to $14. So, pretend pieces. So I need to just go, I'm just going to have to run over to the store and do it. The one thing I wanted to check before we go is to make sure that I can pull that fertilizer. It's in the other barn, the other greenhouse. So ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you're enjoying this series. Once again, subscribe. Thumbs up always help, and if you really want to, you know, help the channel along, please donate. Uh, most of the money goes back in, though. Right now, I have a lot of debt because of the channel and because of life, both ends. Um, things have been a little nuts, so um, I just have a lot of debt right now, and it's gonna it'll get paid off. But look how dirty these things are already. Dang it! Oh well, what are you gonna do? Interesting. I hope they fix that. It can't go forward with it until you hit a wall. Once you hit the wall, it'll eventually catch and go forward. So once you're going, just keep it going. <laughs> Don't stop. Oh, nope. There we go. Nope. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. I, I can't go forward with it. I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I didn't see the guy that was running it on his didn't have this problem. I don't think he did. I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell what he was saying, so... I'll have to see if online people are reporting this as a bug. Um, God, that sucks. Okay, hang on. Let me see. Maybe if I, maybe if I fill the trailer and make give it some weight, it'll fix that problem. I doubt it, though. But oh, I have to bring it over. Ah, oh, dang it.
I didn't see other people having problems with this, but I only saw one other person doing it, so... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, this is getting crazy now. I just I gotta go to bed. I just got so excited, I've been waiting to do this. Okay, now it's working. Interesting. No, it's not. Nope. Wow. Okay. Not going to work. Look how dirty it is already, too. So that's kind of broken. Wow, that sucks. I can't get in there. It won't let me in it. Like, as soon as I get in it, he starts going in reverse. <laughs> it's like the wheels on the sprayer are um, going the opposite direction. So I can back it. <laughs> Jeez. I'm going to I'm gonna have to do it backwards the whole time. Turn the sprayer on and run it backwards down the thing, like, like that. <laughs> okay, that's really stupid. Like the whole point of this was to do this, and it doesn't work. <laughs> Look how dirty that thing got. That's just funny. Wow, this is going to be really stupid. <coughs> there we go, now we're rolling forward. So it's just pretend like we're spraying. And don't stop. And then <coughs> make the turn. Whoa. Speeds between two and three are vastly different. So let's go ahead and try it. Refill with fertilizer. Boop. I don't know how much that holds, but... I'm going to wait. Now it's working now that it's full. Weird. No, it's not. Okay, no, it's just luck. Wow, this goes through it fast. Dang. It's at 90% or 89% already. Yep, that's cool. Okay, well, I'm glad I got to try it out. I'm sorry I was so quiet there. I was just trying to figure it out. So I think we're wasting it right now, but... Let's see what it says when we get done with these two rows and what the status is. It probably shows us per plant, right? So, all right, so we're going to do this and enter it. We're going to refill. And I should probably turn this thing off, actually. Fertilized. No, okay, so that works. It says fertilized. But you're really not supposed to do it that early on, fertilized. Okay, so these are all fertilized, so we'll remember that. Okay, guys, so i got to go to bed. <laughs> Have a great night, guys. I will see you on the farm. Hopefully you're enjoying this series. It is really exciting to start the fruit farm. I'm, I'm glad to be able to get in here and actually, you know, start growing stuff. So we'll plant the other ones uh, today, and I'm going to run over with the tractor to the agricultural store 
I might actually do it from home because this one, uh, I mean, they're, it's both about as far away. I mean, it really, I guess it's about the same, isn't it? Actually, this one might be, this is further. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, our vegetables have grown up. And I've actually picked one uh, barn full, uh, made some serious money. Uh, each trailer load is about worth sixteen thousand dollars, and there's probably about ten trailer load or five trailer loads per building. So we're gonna make a lot of money today. Um, one of the things that I found, and you saw with the fertilizer, when you try to use this tractor, it bounces backwards. This thing sucks. So uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can use this to, to harvest them for the next building. And I'm also going to get a fertilizer for this instead. And I'm just going to sell this thing and sell the fertilizer that it came with because it doesn't work. If if it worked in game, I would really like it. But uh, we'll go through a, a process of harvesting here tonight, and then uh, we'll call it quits on this map. And I'm going to start a new map. Um, but I think we've we've reached, we've arrived. Um, some things we haven't done in the game yet, like expanding buildings and stuff. But I think uh, I'm ready to start a new series with this. And uh, I probably will continue to play on this farm because I'm loving the way it's going. And maybe I will stop in here occasionally. But I know people are kind of hating on this game. And, you know, I've got a lot of people that like it, but a lot of people that hate it, too. And I want to, you know, I don't know. I'd like to do something different, new. Uh, but this is a really cool feature in the game. And so here you can see I'm, I'm hand-loading these trailers. You get up there, it says E, place it on the thing. Boop, and it loads on automatically. Um but uh, let's so this is how this is what happens. But how do you get these boxes full of vegetables? And the, each one has different amounts in it. So you can see this one's like totally full. The other one's not quite so full. The workers dump them off as they fill up. So uh, we're going to leave these parked here. I'm going to hop in this tractor and we're going to do a little bit of harvesting so you can see how that goes. Start this guy up, and I'm going to disconnect that. Right? Oh no, it, it hooked up. I disconnected the wrong one. Oops. Uh, there we go. So I've unhitched both trailers, but it's okay. We can hook them back up pretty easily. But I think we can pretty much get away with running this farm with this little tractor. We don't need that secondary tug thing because it doesn't work, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah. I planted all of these greenhouses. It didn't cost that much to plant them. It really wasn't bad. So I'd, I'd say you probably can you know get away with selling all your stuff and just buying this equipment at the beginning of a map. And then using this to, there's the workers. Let's go ahead and get in the, whoops. Let's go ahead and get into the greenhouse. And this tractor should be able to fit in there. Now, in real life, you probably would get sick. That's the, you know, the downside. And it's also harder to steer this tractor because it's tight spacing. That little tug is pretty good at steering. But the bottom line is the tug gets pushed around by the trailer, so you can't really even do it anyway. Yes, Evelyn. Is that little sad bunny ears? Evelyn's being sad because I won't take her to church. Uh, Seth has his class tonight, and Evelyn wants to go hang out. And see, yeah, you got to really squeeze in here. But we're getting in. And you can see here, these guys pick the berries. you got to kind of watch them because sometimes they'll leave berries on the tree. So you want to just park and wait, and this is how they do it. So I'm kind of just going to go through the process with you of how we do it. Uh, and you can see here the, the bush on the right's empty. The one on the left is almost empty. And, or not the bush, but the seedling. They still call them seedlings, even though they're fully grown. Uh, and then they'll stop working once they're done, and you can just check over and make sure they got everything that you wanted, because sometimes they don't. And then we're going to pull straight forward until that last guy is by those seedlings. So that's the process of the, the tractor. And, and as you drive, and you'll see this happening, as these boxes fill up, they will leave them. They'll drop them off the back of the cart. On what? On what? Okay, well, we'll have to get a new lamp, I guess, and just throw that out. Now, the downside is these guys, you can see here, they're not filling that bucket up all the way. I'm not sure why. We can start moving forward. Get, get to put a Band-Aid on it, Soupy. Yeah, I bet it does. Rinse it out real good and then get a Band-Aid on it. Good girl, Cha. I definitely got him a Band-Aid. Bud. So they're done. And we haven't left. I don't think we've left. Oh, no, they're starting. Okay, you can see here. And I'm going to turn the tractor off while we walk around. You guys will just stay here and work. You guys can keep. Oh, no, when you get off. No, oh, they're still there. Um, so now you can see here. And I don't know how this works, but I have a feeling we have to get rid of these. 
Um, the, here's the so here's a finished box of tomatoes, uh, and we have the tomato plant left over. And it says planted days of life ninety one current phase of growth ready to harvest fruits very little. I don't know what you do with this. I, do you leave them? Like do they keep growing? Because you can do this and remove them. So see, I right clicked with my mouse and it took them away. So I'm going to leave. I, I think you have to remove. Them. I think once they've grown up all the way, they're not going to seed anymore. So I don't know for a fact. That's something I'm still trying to figure out. But that's how the harvest works. And then you know you you, you plant more. So this is why that's they this. Drop, why'd they drop the baskets? They leave the baskets there and then you pick them up and hand load them onto those trailers. And then you take the trailers to sell. So here's cute. These are I I bought pe peppers. These are the green peppers. You can see there They've, they're growing on the vine. And then we also have the cucumbers. It took 91 days for these to grow. Are they bell peppers? No. Yeah, bell, uh, they're the big bell peppers. peppers. They're the big peppers, like green peppers. And then they have we have our cucumbers. And there's our stupid fertilizer that we're going to sell. Um, so my thought is uh, that pretty much finishes up year five for us. I didn't do any harvest because um, I was being stupid and... Um, I kind of forgot about it, and then by the time I remembered to do it, I had already passed the date. It was too late to plant it. And so now my animals are running out of hay, and I have to buy hay. I've got plenty of silage, but I ran out of hay. So I'm going to have to uh, plant next year. I'm going to have to do weed again and do just keep doing wheat for that farm. But um, here you can see I removed some of the plants. But I want to I, – I think these – we'll see what happens. I'm going to let these go over the winter and see if they die or what they do. Because they stay fertilized, too. It's weird. Isn't that weird? It still says fertilized. There's no cucumbers on them. They're empty. But they still say fertilized. I, I don't know. So, anyway, I'm going to continue loading these up. But I think that covers it for this series. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me grow my farm. We did both the animals. We also did the fruit. And so we bring farm expert to a close. Um, but like I said, I probably will continue the series on in some fashion or other. Uh, definitely not. I won't be recording it as much as I have. I know, like I said, I... I kind of do what I want on my channel, but sometimes I try to make sure that people are happy with what the content is that they're getting, and I'm getting a lot of negative comments about this series. <laughs> people just don't like this game for whatever reason, so I'll continue doing it, but on a less frequent basis. Um, and I would like to start a new farm. I'm going to start a new farm and do this first, because financially this makes the most sense. It's cheap, uh, the equipment's cheap, and you know you don't really need a harvester or anything like that to do this portion of it. Yes, Mater, yes, Mater, yes, Mater. Well, it's a repl it is kind of John. She's kind of right. It's not, but it's. So you say it. It's kind of like saying it's not. You're. Not, uh, it's hard to explain. They're saying. F like foop, like they're beeping a swear word out. So they are saying swear words. So, so you'd say presnos. Presnos isn't a swear word. Is, is it kind of a swear word? No, it's so just a silly way of saying presence. They're talking about Tabuscus' Christmas song where he, the guy, somebody unwrapped all his presents. And he beeps out. I don't know that he actually swears, but he beeps out all these, like, he's like, my beep and praise knows. And, like, anyway. Uh, so that is how the fruit farm works. And if you want, we can, eh, I don't know. Like I said, each trailer load is worth about $16,000. So I'm looking at about $32,000 in crop right here. And I still have more in there, and I've got four more greenhouses worth. So I'm going to estimate that you're going to make almost $100,000 per greenhouse. And that is, you know, <laughs> 500000 bucks. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, once again, your donations help. And uh, be sure to subscribe. If you want to see more Farm Expert, please, in the comments, say so. And I'll keep going. Uh, but I do want to start a new farm and kind of try over again and maybe do things a little bit smarter next time. So uh, anyway, we're going to do that. But like I said, there won't be as many videos coming out. I think I'm just going to kind of do them as we go, and we'll we'll pop in it during major events. But I'm not going to film myself plowing the fields and all that stuff. So uh, see you guys on the net. Hope you enjoyed the series, and have a great night.